Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael along with Lauren and members of our team coming together in prayer for the Saturday edition of the Lenten season of the God Minute. We welcome you and thank you for joining us in prayer. Today we will pray the Seven Sorrows Devotion. The purpose of the devotion of the Seven Sorrows of Our Lady is to promote union with the sufferings of Christ through union with the special sufferings that Our Lady endured for the sake of her Son and our salvation. Mary, in a unique way, willingly suffered alongside her divine Son as he gave his life to save the world, and she felt the bitterness of his passion as only a mother can. Let us begin as we do all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrow of Our Lady, the prophecy of Simeon. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the rise and the downfall of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be contradicted. And your own soul a sword shall pierce, that out of many hearts thoughts may be revealed. How great was the shock to Mary's heart at hearing the sorrowful words in which holy Simeon told the bitter passion and death of her sweet Jesus. Since, in that same moment, she realized in her mind all the insults, blows, and torments which the impious men were to offer to the Redeemer of the world. But a still sharper sword pierced her soul. It was the thought of men's ingratitude to her beloved son. Now I consider that because of my sins, I am unhappily among the ungrateful. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The second sorrow of Mary, the flight into Egypt. And after the wise men departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in sleep to Joseph, saying, Arise and take the child and his mother, and fly into Egypt, and be there until I shall tell you. For it will come to pass that Herod will seek the child to destroy him. He arose and took the child and his mother by night, and retired into Egypt and he was there until the death of Herod. Consider the sharp sorrow which Mary felt when, St. Joseph being warned by an angel, she had to flee by night in order to preserve her beloved child from the slaughter decreed by Herod. What anguish was hers in leaving Judea, lest she should be overtaken by the soldiers of the cruel king. How great her privations in that long journey what sufferings she bore in that land of exile, what sorrow amid that people given to idolatry. But now I consider how often I have renewed that bitter grief of Mary when my sins have caused her son to flee from my heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third sorrow of Mary, the loss of the child Jesus in the temple. And having fulfilled the days, when they returned, the child Jesus remained in Jerusalem, and his parents knew it not. And thinking that he was in the company, they came a day's journey and sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And not finding him, they returned into Jerusalem, seeking him. How dread was the grief of Mary when she saw that she had lost her beloved son, and, as if to increase her sorrow, when she sought him diligently among her kinsfolk and acquaintance, she could hear no tidings of him. No hindrances stayed her, no weariness, nor danger, but she returned to Jerusalem and for three long days sought him sorrowing. Great is my confusion. 
I who have so often lost my Jesus by my sins and have given no heed to seek him at once, a sign that I make very little or no account of the precious treasure of divine love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth sorrow of Mary, the meeting of Jesus and Mary on the way of the cross. And there followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. This mother, so tender and loving, meets her beloved son, meets him amid an impious rabble who drag him to a cruel death, wounded, torn by stripes, crowned with thorns, streaming with blood, bearing his heavy cross. Consider the grief of the Blessed Virgin thus beholding her son. Who would not weep at seeing this mother's grief? But who has been the cause of such woe? I, it is I, who with my sins have so cruelly wounded the heart of my sorrowing mother. And yet I am not moved. I am as a stone when my heart should break because of my ingratitude. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. The fifth sorrow of Mary, the crucifixion. They crucified him. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother. When Jesus therefore had seen his mother and the disciples standing whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. After that, he said to his disciple, behold your mother. Look to Calvary, whereon are raised two altars of sacrifice, one on the body of Jesus, the other on the heart of Mary. Sad is the sight of that dear mother, drowned in a sea of woe, seeing her beloved son, part of her very self, cruelly nailed to the shameful tree of the cross. Every blow of the hammer, every stripe which fell on the Savior's form, fell also on the disconsolate spirit of the Virgin. As she stood at the foot of the cross, pierced by the sword of sorrow, she turned her eyes on him until she knew that he lived no longer and had resigned his spirit to his eternal Father. Then her own soul was like to have left the body and joined itself to that of Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The sixth sorrow of Mary, the taking down of the body of Jesus from the cross. Joseph of Arimathea, a noble counselor, came and went in boldly to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And Joseph, buying fine linen and taking him down, wrapped him up in the fine linen. Consider the most bitter sorrow which rent the soul of Mary when she saw the dead body of her dear Jesus on her knees, covered with blood, all torn with deep wounds. O mournful mother, a bundle of myrrh indeed is thy beloved to thee. Who would not pity thee, whose heart would not be softened, seeing affliction which would move a stone? Behold, John, not to be comforted, Magdalene and the other Mary in deep affliction, and Nicodemus, who can scarcely bear his sorrow. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The seventh sorrow of Mary, the burial of Jesus. Now there was in the place where he was crucified a garden, and in the garden a new sepulcher, wherein no one yet had been laid. Therefore, because of the Passover of the Jews, they laid Jesus, because the sepulcher was close at hand. 
Consider the sighs which burst forth from Mary's sad heart when she saw her beloved Jesus laid within the tomb. What grief was hers when she saw the stone lifted to cover that sacred tomb. She gazed a last time on the lifeless body of her son and could scarce detach her eyes from those gaping wounds. And when the great stone was rolled to the door of the sepulcher, oh then indeed her heart seemed torn from her body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and, and at the, the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Let intercession be made for us, we beseech you, O Lord, Jesus Christ, now and at the hour of our death, before the throne of your mercy, by the Blessed Virgin Mary, your mother, whose most holy soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow in the hour of your bitter passion. Through you, O Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us for this devotion of the seven sorrows of Mary. To pray the devotion at your leisure, go to our Pray Along YouTube videos. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.